Okay, so today we're going to talk about component mode and how that can how you can use that to edit your polygons. So just to start off with, let's use a a cube. Okay. And again, W is tr uh, translate, E is rotate, R is scale. I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. And component mode is basically where we can uh, have a lot more control over the objects. We can manipulate vertices, which are kind of the, the points, the edges, or the faces. So to enter component mode, we have to just uh, select an object, so left click it, and then right click and hold. Okay, you see there's a whole bunch of options. Um, oops. Okay, so right now, you're probably in object mode. That's kind of the default mode. You can move things around, create things, whatnot. Okay, when we enter component mode, the three that I'm most interested in at the moment are edge, vertex, and face. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you each one. So if I go to edge mode, now I can select individual edges of this cube. So if I left click to select this one, okay, press W, now I can actually manipulate this edge. Okay. Okay, let's try a different mode, vertex mode. Okay, I can select an individual vertex and I can actually manipulate that. Okay, and then the last one is face. So face allows you to select a side of your object and then again, you can move it. Actually, I was, I've just been showing uh, translate, but why don't we um, go to rotate? Okay, see, I can rotate that as well. And I can also scale it. Okay. Now, another useful thing you might want to try. Uh, let's just go back to object mode. Okay. So I'm just going to delete this. <laughs> I'll make a new one. Another useful thing that, that you might want to try is called extruding. So extruding basically allows you to make a new face um, out of an existing one. This is kind of cool, and this is what kind of sets 3D modeling apart from clay modeling in my mind, because we can actually create something out of nothing. It's pretty cool. So let's go to uh, face component mode. I'll select this face. Okay, I'll just press W to get back to uh, the tra translate. I think it's called translate. Oh, just the move tool. Okay. Uh, and then we can press control E. So if I press control E, this is actually going to extrude the face. See that? So now I've made another face. This is all st still part of the same object though. Okay. So I could do that again. Um, let me just switch to uh, front view now. Let's see top. Okay. So I'm just going to rotate the uh, the view here. I want to make sure that this is consistent. Okay. So remember what I was saying about the view being consistent. You want to make sure in the top view the green arrow points up, right? The red arrow points right. So my perspective view, I want to kind of keep that same orientation, more or less. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, extrude this again. So control E and drag it up. Okay, now I'm not using any kind of exact measurements. Maybe I should be doing that. You know, you can put an exact number there for local translate Z. Okay, control E. And this time I'm going to pull it this way. Oops. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just starting to make a very simple shape. 
Okay, I'm thinking it's going to be like a, uh, well, my legs aren't the same thickness, but I'm thinking it's going to be like a bit of a robot or something. Okay, but typically when you're designing something, um, you start off with a very simple shape. Oops. Okay, and then we can go from there. So, and this just shows you that, oh, okay, so if I want to select multiple faces, left click, and then I can hold shift to add to that selection. Okay, and by the way, I'm hitting spacebar to go back to this view. Okay, or maybe it's like a uh, an arch or something for my winter wonderland. Okay, but that's the extrude, uh, extrude command. Uh, very useful. Okay, folks, so a few more things that you can do in Maya just to get you started. Under Edit Mesh, so now that I've, I've created this basic shape with, uh, with my extrusions. Oh, and by the way, one more thing you can do with extrude, which is kind of cool. Let's just go back to face select mode. I can extrude this with Control E. Okay. And now I could actually scale this face. Okay. So you can kind of you know, maybe this is just a very basic robot that I'm making. Because I like robots. Okay, just very rough, but there's a uh, basic shape of a, of a character. Now, I'll go back to object mode for a second. Now, you'll notice that I've got these faces. It's, it's actually quite a, quite a basic character so far. Okay, but what I can do, if I go up to Edit Mesh, when this is selected, I can say Add Divisions. So now you can see if I add divisions, it's actually going to subdivide each face into four. So every time, every number here will will divide that further. Okay, so two, three, and so on. Okay, and when you subdivide, it just gives you more uh, more points to play with as far as detail goes, so the more faces, the more edges, the more vertices you have, the more kind of fine control, fine tuning you have over your, your mesh, okay? So don't worry too much about that right now, but just so you know, if you want to get more detail, more control over that, we can do that. I'll just 